Um, we have leveled off uh, obesity in children. And um, so we have stopped the rise, and we have um, since 2003. There is a slight drop, but it is not statistically significant. So um, that... But, but stopping the, the rise is oh a big God. deal. It's you huge. know, Instead of continuing to go up Pun. several percent a year, we have been able to say in the state of Arkansas that we have sort of stopped the increase right. on a population level. And the way I tell kids on a personal level, you know, your first weight goal is to stop gaining weight. I never ask people to start losing unless they're already in the action phase of readiness to change. So um, if, if we have arrested the, the rapid rise that's been going on for two decades and it's stayed the same for five years now, that is a really big deal. And there have been some dips, you know, going down. But we'll have to wait and see if that continues. But, well, yes, it, it's really good. I want to answer the, your question. Uh, can you tell me how much you pay for that hamburger uh, those years? Oh, you got a hamburger for quarter. Quarter. And the hamburger probably was one-tenth of the size probably right now. You are getting a triple cheeseburger right now for two or three bucks. So this is as a result of a thousand calories per day producing per person more. It has to go somewhere. And as I said, it, if the food is delicious all the time, either it's high fat or high sugar. And that's where it comes. High fat and high sugar they are the cheapest source of calorie you can find. And right now, those days, you would have walked to McDonald's probably to get a hamburger. Right now, you drive through. I mean, you absolutely are gaining whatever you are getting uh, from the hamburger plus, you know, lack of physical activity. One other thought when we're talking about fast food I'd like to mention is if you look at the dollar menu on some of these fast food places, there's not a single healthy thing that you can get on that menu. And we haven't mentioned this, but um, there is a disproportionate burden of obesity in populations that live in poverty and low-income families. And these are also the families that are going to be hit the hardest in low economic times, which we're suffering now. Not a week goes by in fitness clinic where there's not a, at least one family where somebody hasn't lost their job. And I'm seeing these families, and they come and say, all the money we have right now is our gas money home. And where are these families going to eat, and how are they going to eat, and how are they going to afford fruits and vegetables? And we have to be very creative in how we teach them to eat healthy, because when they go out to eat, they are going to eat off that dollar menu when they go out to eat, because that's all they can afford. They're not going to afford fresh fruits and vegetables, but we talk to them about getting the three for a dollar canned vegetables, and, and we try to really be creative in how we help them eat healthy. And if you also look, and I think that Judy knows some of these studies, they've done studies to show where are the uh, grocery stores that have the fruits and vegetable sections, and they're pretty... Um, sparse around the low-income neighborhoods. Well, right, so in the Delta region, the, you know, the large grocery stores, of course, will have the fresh fruits and vegetables, and some of them, what we're calling the medium-sized groceries, but in a lot of the rural parts of the states, the closest store, the only store within, say, a 20-mile radius is the convenience stores, and so you all know from visiting convenience stores that very few of them stock fruits and vegetables and if they do they're very often very poor quality because they just don't have the turnover of the fruits and vegetables you know so even though they may be trying to stock those things it's just you know if you see a totally brown banana or a bruised up apple I mean you're probably not going to buy it either I mean that doesn't look enticing to people when they can buy a Twinkie you know that still looks good because of all the preservatives in it. but anyway um so you know that so that's uh, so that is an issue. We've done a food store, a state food food store survey, and and part of the problem is the location of the stores, and then if if they stock fruits and vegetables or not.